Welcome back to another episode of Creations with Christina. We're on episode number 18 of the Wild Card series, and today we're going to be working on the Monster Card, which is on page 71 of the Cricut Handbook, but I wanted to show you how to do it on your Gypsy. So um, I've already got mine loaded on, for a 12 by 12 mat, and I'm just going to hit the keypad down the bottom. And as always, we're going to start with our envelope. So I'm going to hit the Shift key, and then the Blackout key, because I want mine to go come out. No, actually, I'm not going to do Blackout. I'm just going to do it on the regular the regular uh, envelope cut. So I'm just going to hit that and add it to the mat. And we just have to move it down just a little bit. Actually, we're going to move it over to the center. And I'm going to cut mine on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper cardstock. So um, I want to make sure that I'm down. I don't, my um, envelope doesn't go any further than eight and a half. So each one of these little box counts as an inch. So we're going to size this up until we get to, let's see, pretty much, probably about three and a half inches would fit. You can even do it larger than that. So I'm just going to put that right there. And it's at 3.53, so I'm actually just going to change it to 3.50 for three and a half. And that's just because it would be easier for me to remember when I go to cut my other pieces. Okay, so then we would just load our mat into our machine and cut out our envelope. So now we know our size is going to be three and a half. So let's clear this off the screen. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and I'm going to actually arrange my mat. So I'm going to cut all of my other pieces together on the mat. So I'm going to take the shift lock key off. I'm going to hit the blackout key and I'm going to cut my monster card and I'm going to hit the, oh, wait a minute. I'm going to hit the liner and I'm going to cut out the liner for the envelope. I'm going to hit the shift lock key to turn it off. I'm going to cut out our monster. And then I'm also going to cut out the phrase wild about you. So I'm putting all of this right on my mat at one time. Okay, and I'm just going to hit to go back to my mat. So now it's all just a little crammed in there. So what we're going to do is ungroup and I know everything needs to be at three and a half inches. So I'm just going to move everything kind of around here. And I'm going to set my card for three and a half. Adjust it on my screen so it's on my mat. I'm going to set my phrase here for three and a half. my liner and we're just going to move that right into the place and then our little monster guy what am I doing? oh here three, three I forgot what I was doing three and a half Okay, so now everything's on my mat, and I could just go ahead and count my squares and figure out where everything would go and load it into my machine. Okay, so let me show you how to put this card Okay, together. so the first thing we're going to start with is our, um, our envelope. We're just going to fold all of our crease lines. And before we go ahead and, wait a minute, um, you know, I, I do this every time. I always fold it backwards. I know I'm backwards because the back of the mat, it got stuck, so it pulled off a little piece of the paper, so I knew that was the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and add my paper, my cards, or my pattern paper that I use. This is the glue glider. I like this, the glue glider. I'm using the Permatac in here. I like it. Um, the only thing is, is that this one, on this one, the tape sits on this side and on my ATG it sits on the other side. So I have to kind of get used to which side I'm, I have to roll on. So that's the only difference that I, the only thing I have a problem with actually. But that's just, just me. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and add this to the inside of our envelope. 
and then we're going to go ahead and seal all of our parts down, just like that, and then we're going to go ahead and fold our top and score it because I did add the liner on the inside. So that is our envelope. Isn't that the cutest thing? Okay, so let's do our card. Um, this is our card. When you fold down the top, you've got your little monster. Now let me make sure I folded him correctly. No, backwards, of course. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is just add my monster right to the front of my card. And we're just going to line him up right on the front, just like that. You could also use pop dots or dimensionals, rather. If you wanted to do that, you could do that. And then I cut out the wild about you. And you can either put this right on the front or on the inside. Just remember that when you're putting it on the inside, you want to make sure that you're putting it so it's lined up with the... Um, the monster so when you close it it's not peeking through on any of the sides so bef I'm not going to hear that down but just wanted to add one more thing so okay upper. don't you think our monster's missing something I think he's missing something because what monster wouldn't be complete without a bow he really needed a bow he just looks so plain so okay that's it for um, another episode of creations with Christina thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye